Hello everyone, welcome to Ecotech Packet again. In the last video, we have learned how to create one perfect application using the IDE bot Medware Studio. And in this video, we will be learning how to create one perfect application using the IDE called Visual Studio Code. So the first thing which we have to do is to open the IDE Visual Studio Code. And once I open the IDE, uh, I'll have to then go to the extensions. In the left hand side, I will click on extension and now I will check for two extensions. The first extension will be the Flutter, which will help us to debug the application, which we will be creating. And I've already installed this application, so I will not be clicking on uninstall and then installing it as I have already did it. And then the next extension which we have to install is called Dart. Dart is the language that we shall be using for developing the Flutter application. Now, once both the applications are installed, then we will go to our uh, IDP once again. And in my desktop, I will create one app. Maybe let us name the app as my first app my first app and then i will again open the idp then click on the card reader and new trial the app here i will write cd which means change directory link and then i will drag this folder from my desktop to the terminal uh, id terminal and then hit enter so once done then i will there write flutter sorry Flutter, create, and I have to give the name of an application. So let me give the name of this application as maybe uh, Fairflow app, which means favorite app. And then I will wait for a few seconds, and I can see that the folder which I have created called uh, my car step inside that folder we have created another folder and the name of the folder is fab app and within this folder itself the flutter app is and within this folder itself i can find the flutter application so here are all the files and folders that we can see in our data so now what i'm going to do is to click on open folder and then i will go to desktop and then click on the folder which I have recently created. In this case, my first step is the folder of which we have created. And fab app is the uh, name of the folder where the uh, app which we have created is current present. And now here I can see no device. I have to open the emulator now. If I click on this no device, here I will be able to see all the devices where I can run my Flutter application based on the speed of your computer all the options will be available and here i can see three options mac enable mac uh enable web for this project mac os ios and android in this case i will click on android and then if i click here again i can see all the emulators which we had previously installed by installing the android studio ide all the extensions can be available here and then I will click on uh, start pixel 6. So pixel 6 is one of the emulator which we have installed, which we have created while installing the IDE called Android Studio. And here I can see the emulator where I can view the app now. I will then again click on terminal and then click on new terminal. I will type ls and I can see all the files and folders which have been generated by, by the Flutter. And here I will write Flutter run. And then I will hit enter. I will have to wait for a few minutes. And my application, this, uh, this VS code will open the application in this emulator, which we can see in the right hand side of my screen. I can now see the Flutter app has been generated. We can also see the uh, APK has also been generated by program. And here I can see that APK is uh, inside. We can locate the FTI 
inside our grid folder then we can click on add and here i can see outputs i have to click on outputs that flutter apk and then apk debug dot apk dash debug sorry app dash debug dot yes this is the file which we can open uh reveal finder or open in uh folder and uh, we can uh, simply send this file to our android app and install the android app installed this newly created fpk in our android app case which uh, i mean uh, the fingers the device now here i can see the flutter application if i click on the plus button i will be able to see the incrementation value of these numbers two three four five six seven and if I would create some more spins, I can easily create the more, uh, I can easily create the spins in this application. So in the next videos, in my next videos, I'll be showing the advanced features of Flutter. And if you want to learn about complete mobile application development for both iOS and Android, you can refer to my complete series called Flutter Mobile App Development using Flutter MySQL and PHP and I have also included the link of that complete playlist with one page consists of around 52 videos in the description page. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe this channel for more updates.